Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the making. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another week of yummy dinners. And hey, it's so good to be back. I've been gone for like three weeks. Let's do it. So if you are newer to my channel, I've had a lot of new subscribers lately. I think a lot of you have come from the canned biscuit dough video that I did. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll pop the little thumbnail up here and a link to it up in the eye in the sky. But I want to welcome you and just tell you I normally post at least once a week, sometimes two times a week, but it's been a minute. I took some time off. I did not expect to take as much time off as I did but I'm so happy to be back in the kitchen. I've been in the kitchen just making our, some of our favorites, some staples over the last three weeks, but I haven't filmed anything. So let's get back to doing it. Today for our first meal, it's very gloomy outside. This whole week is gonna be kind of themed for cold weather. We are doing a chicken noodle soup in the crock pot. It's very simple. Let's put it in there and get it cooking. Okay, to get started, I'm just gonna chop up our celery. I've got four stalks of celery. The recipe calls for four medium-sized carrots, but I had two really large carrots and a medium-sized, and then our onion. Okay, in the bottom of my large slow cooker, I'm gonna add all of our onion, our carrot, and our celery. Next, we need about four cloves of garlic minced. I'm just gonna use this garlic. We need eight cups of chicken broth, which is gonna be two of these large cartons. I'm adding in two boneless chicken breasts. We will shred these at the end of the day. A teaspoon of dried thyme, a teaspoon of dried rosemary. It says to season with salt and pepper, but you know what I'm gonna do. And you see, I'm almost out. I have another bottle, so never fear. We'll just use the rest of it in here. And we're gonna throw a couple of bay leaves in. I may do three, just because these bay leaves are so small. I'm trying to find the larger ones in here so they're easier to find at the end of the day. Okay, that's gonna be it for now. We're just gonna put the lid on this, and this is gonna cook for six to eight hours. In our case, more like six. And then we'll go in and shred the chicken at the end of the day, but also we will add in our egg noodles. Now you can cook your egg noodles directly in the crock pot with it, but I think I'm gonna cook mine separately just based off of the reviews for this particular recipe. I think it'll just be nicer if I cook them separately and then add them in cooked at the end of the day. I think tonight I'm also gonna be making Stephen's grandmother's recipe for cornbread. If you want that recipe, I will link it in the description box below. I've shared it on my channel numerous times, so I won't go through it in this video, but I'll have it linked in the description box. Okay, it has been all day long. It is time to take our chicken out and shred it and also take out our bay leaves. I've got water over here coming to a boil. I'm going to cook my egg noodles in here and drain them and then just add them to the soup. And then in here, we've got cornbread going. Oh, sorry for the fogging up. Who did it? So we just need eight ounces of the egg noodles. This was a full pound, but we only had half the bag left, so it's perfect. These are just gonna boil for like seven to eight minutes, and then we'll drain them and add them to the soup. Perfect night for soup. Yeah, it's been gloomy all day. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> That's some good chicken noodle soup right there. The the herbs that you have in there go really well with chicken. Yeah. And, and of course the um, celery with the carrots and onions and everything just really just make it very hearty. Very hearty flavors. It's been smelling great all day long. Mm -hmm. Our house has smelled so delicious. Mm. And then of course we've got cornbread over there. Grandmom's cornbread. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong with that, right? Mm -hmm. 
nice chunks of chicken in there. Mm -hmm. I love the egg noodles. I love how, I love the texture of the egg noodles. And um, We've really grown to like egg noodles because mm -hmm. there for the longest time I really wasn't a fan of them, but I've gotten to where I really like them now. Mm. So it's funny how things change. Cole, you're like, yeah. <laughs> He hasn't, he hasn't taken a breath, so I was just checking on him just to make sure that he was... <clears throat> Lou. Everybody missed you. You say hello? Say hello. I'm doing good. Yeah, tell him. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'd be better if Mom gave me some of her cornbread. Yeah. Okay, y'all. It is our second meal, and tonight is another crock pot meal. Tonight we're having crock pot Swiss steaks. We're using cube steaks for that. And I'm gonna serve it with mashed potatoes and more than likely I'm gonna make a green bean casserole. Okay, not a whole lot of chopping. I'm gonna chop up this onion, one stalk of celery, these couple of carrots, and we are gonna just slice. We're not gonna mince our garlic. So the first thing we're gonna do is just add all of our veggies to the bottom of the slow cooker. I did use a liner, you don't have to, obviously. This helps with cleanup, makes it that much easier. Okay, so I've got a little bit of flour in here and then I've got four cubed steaks. I dropped a little bit of flour on there. And then I have a cap, Gracie Lou. I'm just going to season these with salt and pepper and put them in the flour, just coat them and we're gonna go over to the stove and just sear these on both sides. Okay, I could only fit three in here at one time. You don't wanna overcrowd it, but I'm just going to let them sear on each side for a couple of minutes, and then I'll do our last one, and then we'll go back over to the crock pot. like the spinning pot over here. <laughs> Trying to do this one-handed and hold a camera is not the easiest. There we go. Okay, so the recipe calls for white wine, but I'm just gonna use extra beef broth. I didn't wanna get wine just for that, but I've removed all of my steaks here, and I've just got some really good bits on the bottom there. I'm gonna deglaze this pan, and then we're gonna go over the crock. So I'm just scraping up any little bits here off the bottom. Went ahead and turned the pan off. Okay, let's go do this. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is add our steaks in, our cubed steaks. They are obviously not all the way cooked. Now let's add in our beef broth that we use to deglaze the pan. And the recipe calls for one cup of beef broth and a half a cup of white wine. So I'm just doing this whole can of beef broth because it's about a cup and a half. Now I'm gonna add in a can of tomato soup. You could definitely just use diced tomatoes. But if you've been around for a while, you may or may not know that Cole, my son, does not really like the texture of diced tomatoes. And so I saw this in the notes that if you want a creamier sauce, you could just use tomato soup. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna add in just a couple of tablespoons of tomato paste, about a half a teaspoon of dried thyme, a tablespoon of the dub sauce, and we're just gonna finish it up with a little more salt and pepper. And that's it. We are gonna put the lid on this and cook it on low for six to eight hours, or you could do on high for four to five hours. I'm actually gonna do it on high for about an hour, and then I'm gonna come in and change it over to low because it's already lunchtime a little after. So I just wanna make sure all of our veggies get soft enough. Okay, one other thing is tonight when we open this up and take a look at it, I'm gonna see whether we need to add like a cornstarch slurry to it to thicken it up a little bit. It's really, it's optional. Okay, it has been all day long. We have about an hour left on the Swiss steak, but I'm gonna put green bean casserole in the oven. I do mine very traditionally, very traditionally. I use the French cut green beans. I use two of these cans and the only thing I really have changed up recently is that I don't just use regular cream of mushroom soup. I do use the roasted garlic, um, just because, you, you know, we love garlic. And then I've got our 
topping as well. So I'm gonna get this together and get it in the oven and then I'm gonna make mashed potatoes to go along with dinner and dinner will be ready. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. I don't know if I've ever had anything quite like this before. Yeah. Mmm. Wow. That sauce is really, really, really good. Is it? Yeah, the meat is like fall apart. Yeah. But that gravy, that's special. Well, I was just really happy that it was as thick as it was that I didn't have to add any cornstarch to yeah. it. That's a whole other step that I got to skip. But mm. Some sort of tomato base, I guess? Yeah, it's got tomato soup actually in there. Oh, okay. And tomato paste. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. It's really good. It's a, it's a, uh, it's definitely a unique gravy. Yeah. That you would put on a steak. Yeah, it's a, it's a tomato base. But it works so. really well, I think, because of the, you know, the, how you cook it in the crock pot yeah. all day long. Yeah. So everything's falling apart and it's just, oh man, it's just coming together. Oh, I'm so happy. Mm-hmm. So Cole is busy eating and so is Steven. And then I sat down <clears throat> and finally got a few bites and this is really good. Mm -hmm. Steven just keeps commenting about how this gravy is just so different and it is, but it works so well. I'd say it was a success. It's really good. It's very unique. It is very unique. Gracie, what do you think? Yeah, I'm really digging this. And then of course I'm digging the creaming casserole because it's my favorite ever. Okay, y'all, it is our third meal of the week and you know what that means. It is subby supper night. Tonight's Subby Supper is a great one. So, especially with the holidays, if you have extra ham, leftover ham, this is the perfect way to use it. So make sure that you save this recipe for maybe right after Christmas if you have a ham, because you can use the ham bone and or the ham in this recipe. This is an Instant Pot Navy Bean Soup, and it's we're gonna add diced ham. I don't have a ham bone right now. If I did, I would love to use that because I cannot even begin to imagine the flavor that that would add. This recipe comes from Lori and Lori is from Michigan. Lori is a farmer's wife. She's a wife to Dennis. They have four adult children and then they have a year and a half old Yorkie. And when I say she's a farmer's wife, I mean she's a farmer's wife. They have a 2,000 acre farm where they grow corn, soybeans, and sugar beets. She said life can get really busy during the planting and the harvesting seasons. And she said that she is always looking for quick meals that are very quick and easy for the days that she is driving the tractor around doing all of the things. And then when she's not driving a tractor, a lot of times you'll find her in the kitchen making meals and then going out and delivering those meals to all the guys out in the fields. She said she loves this bean soup because you don't have to soak the beans. So we're going to be using dry beans, but you don't have to do the overnight soak. She said she always forgets to do that. I understand, Lori. I do too. <laughs> if I have to prep something the day before, you might as well just forget it. So we don't have to soak the beans. You can use a ham bone, you can use leftover ham, or you can buy diced ham like I did to flavor it. But this is all going directly into the Instant Pot and cooking, and it's really easy. We're seriously just gonna dump it all in. Let's do that now. Here's all of our ingredients. The only other thing we need is water and lots of it. So I'll add that in a little bit, but I'm excited that we've never used the ham base better than bouillon. So I'm excited to use that in this soup. Okay, I chopped all of my ingredients and everything is just gonna go here into the Instant Pot. I've got 16 ounces of dry navy beans. I did rinse them, but they have not been soaked. Next, we need 10 cups of water. I've got four cups here. And our last two cups. Next, I'm gonna add in this diced ham. I've got four small red potatoes that I chopped up. I had four small carrots and 
three celery stalks and an onion. And this is gonna put me right at my max line, which is, I was a little nervous about it, quite honestly. I was scared that I was gonna overfill this. Okay, the last thing that we're gonna add, but we're gonna wait until it's done, is this ham base. She doesn't say how much to use, just to use it to taste. I was about to put it in now, but I'm glad I, I reread that. This goes in after. So let's put the lid on our Instant Pot. We're gonna cook this on high pressure for 35 minutes, and then we'll let it naturally release for 15, and then we'll add that ham soup base. Okay, it has been slow releasing for 15 minutes. Now I'm just going to let the rest of the pressure out. <laughs> now we're just gonna add some of this bouillon in. I don't know how much to add, babe. How much do you think? Mm, that's probably One teaspoon is like one bouillon cube. Okay. Stir that around. All kinds of goodness in that. Mm -hmm. You're getting squirrely with that. I like it. I mean, I just don't know how much to add. Right. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go with... A little bit more. I think it, it was probably a tablespoon, I'm guessing, which would be like three bouillon cubes. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of soup. So. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we need a lot. Yeah. To really flavor it really well. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's already going to have that ham flavor in there. Yeah. You got some heavy hidden flavors in there already. But you know what else I need to throw in there? What? You know. Auntie Nono's to the rescue. I just want to put a little bit in there. Gracie Lou, no Gracie ma'am. Gracie agrees. She's like, yeah. She said, I know you got cornbread up there, mama. Oh yeah. So we have leftover cornbread that we're gonna have tonight from a couple of nights ago. Let's eat. Talk about some ham mm -hmm. flavor mm -hmm. just coming mm -hmm. right out of this. I'm so excited. Yes. <laughs> it's really good. The ham flavor yeah. in this is outstanding. Okay, good. So, and, is it <clears throat> lacking any extra flavor? Should I put more no, of the ham base in it? No, it's got it? plenty of the, I mean, you can see how, look at that. Yeah. Look at all of those. Yeah. You're talking about a pack full of nutrients. Mm -hmm. Celery and the carrots. Yep. I'm sure you got onion in there too, which is the, yep. the trifecta of uh, Right, and then Soups. we've got potatoes in there too. Potato, yeah. I mean, this is this is some. Uh, it's a hearty soup. A hearty, yeah. Hearty meal. That's what this is, especially on a cold day. Yeah, it's been kind of gloomy here mm. today. So good, huh? Love the ham flavor. Oh, I'm so excited. Over the top. We are missing Cole tonight. He's not here. Um, but there'll be plenty left over for him. Mm. I'm thinking more than likely. I, do you think this will freeze okay? It's got potatoes in it, I don't know. We'll have to see. If not, mm -hmm. I'll pack up some of the extras and take it to mama and daddy. I'm sure yeah. they would not object. Yeah, this is really good. This is so yummy. We are really enjoying it. Enjoyed. Someone really enjoyed it. I have a <laughs> feeling somebody might be going to get another bowl, possibly. Maybe, I'm telling you what, it fills you up. It does, yeah. <clears throat> All those beans in there and those potatoes. Oh yeah. Little girl, yeah. You've been working hard all day. You come home, you want to warm up. Yeah. And you're talking about replenishing those calories. Yes. Yes. Little girl, you've got to be quiet. You're very rude. So thank you, Lori, for sending in this recipe. This is a really great one. Well, that's it for this week. Really, really hope you enjoy what we've shown you. And I hope you try it. I hope you absolutely love it. I hope you come back for more of these types of videos. In fact, if you would, please, please, please hit that red subscribe button before you go and leave a like, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about the meals and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> it's been a while. It's 
been a minute. Okay. I'm gonna let you do the talking. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to share my joy of this newly organized or reorganized drawer. I wish I would have shown you the before. It was awful. You could hardly open this drawer. I found these little kind of flexible containers at Target and I found a configuration that works really well in here and I'm very happy about it. And now I forgot why I got it, why I got in here. Oh, I know why. <laughs> I need a, what is this called? Not a shredder. Why do I keep wanting to call this a shredder? I've been doing that. Uh, a peeler. She has known this cornbread is up here. Okay, my goodness. Was that good cornbread? You've got it on your head. How did you get so many crumbs on your head, honey? How did that happen? Well, I gotta get it off. I'm sorry.